So obviously, you guys are from all over the world. But here in Texas, it don't get cold too often. And right now, folks, it is cold. And we're itching for some springtime so we can get to gardening. We were discussing that this morning, that uh, as it gets closer to springtime, uh, the more antsy we get because at one moment it might be 70, 80, even 90 degrees and the farmer's almanac says don't plant until fill in the blank date because there will be a freeze at some point that will kill your plants. Soon enough things will turn much greener around here. And we have what we call our outside goats. By the way, this green grass here was not here when we bought the place. It all looked like this. Unreal. This is where Louis stays. Uh, he is our buck. And these are the ladies that are either pregnant or need to be pregnant. Mr. Louis. Uh, this is our super creative water trough. They're hay. And they're going to make a bunch of grass for us out here as well. But in the meantime, we want to keep him away from uh, the babies and the girls that need a rest and can't be pregnant right now. And there's Mr. Milo. So this here is what we call the pig bucket. <clears throat> what we're doing here is the, the poor man's uh, cream separator. There's a cream line right here and there's a spigot at the bottom. So we're gonna get rid of all the skim milk and we're going to accumulate as much cream as we can so we can make butter. We don't waste the milk, the skim milk, we feed it to our pigs. So here it goes. There's also food scraps. Looks like garlic bread, eggshells, salad. Good morning. Good morning, and Mama's here with some goat's milk. And pork roast to put in the crock pot for dinner. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Helps if you open the lid. Yep, it does. This is your cream line. Wow. Good. You need to see the other one. I saw the other one. I went and looked in the other <laughs> fridge. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Oh, this will be dinner. Four pound pork roast. I'm going to sear it and then put it in my crock pot with some veggies and we'll eat really good. And the house will smell amazing all day long. So. This is cream separator number two. This is our cream line. So from here to here is all cream. This is skim milk, and we're gonna go ahead and give this to our pigs. If it doesn't splash all over me. Where's your cream line? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit of cream. That's some butter coming, folks. Probably between this one and the other one, I'm gonna guess seven or eight pounds of butter today. Man, look at the pig bucket. Those little buddies are going to be super happy. So there's a tiny little bit of skim in the very bottom. And the rest of that is yummy, delicious, make your belly big cream. <laughs> Our resident 21 year old has uh, taken the next step of his journey. Uh, which means he has moved out and that means our chore list has increased dramatically. He's been taking care of uh, feeding the pigs, cleaning out all of the waterers and refilling them and uh, doing a lot of the chicken chores and now that he has moved on uh, we have to pick up those responsibilities again. It's been a nice nine or ten months with another able body to a very strong backed able body right a young man to 
we do a lot of the heavy lifting, so. Woo! Like that. You can get your workout back in every day. Not that it ever left, but. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Grant has picked up a lot of the chicken chores. Um, I'll be feeding the pigs again. And uh, you saw all the skim that we put in this bucket, so now we just soak oh, their food, all of our food scraps, and a ton of skim milk. And we have very fat and happy pigs. Yeah, they're very healthy for sure. Yep. We have pigs in three different areas. We have the, the three little pigs. No pun intended. <coughs> that we're raising for meat. We have the breeders. And then Miss Frida currently is by herself, but she is in the recovery because she gave us piglets not long ago. And we don't want to breed her back immediately. We want to give her body some time to recuperate and gain some weight. So we make three buckets. Three buckets for three sets of pigs. Yes, ma'am. So part of this process, we put in a, a squeeze bar that just keeps Jewel from moving from left to right. Uh, it does prevent a little bit of the getting smacked in the face with the tail. Yes, it does. Um, but also, if ever we need a veterinarian to come take a look at her, uh, this is the, the poor man's squeeze shoe. And she's only broken three of them. Well, we've only had to rebuild it a few times. So why are you brushing her? Well, because she likes to be brushed, number one. <laughs> but number two, there's lots of big, thick, chunky debris that sits under her udder. And then use the rag to get her clean the rest of the way. There you go. You hose her down? Yeah. So sure. her feet are disgusting <laughs> always I, get it. So, I mean she's a cow this is what they do um oh yeah but her feet are icky and when she decides to be prancer as we have nicknamed her and lift her feet while we're milking i don't particularly care to have her fling all of that stuff my direction or towards my bucket mm -hmm. so i just spray out the middle of her feet and also that gives us a chance twice a day to look at her hooves and make sure that they're healthy and safe as well. And she's currently throwing a fit because she doesn't have food yet. Hey buddy boy, how are you this morning? Last <laughs> night, I had to chase them all over Tarnation to get that thing on. And I just went. And this morning, he just let you put it on him, yeah. huh? Yeah. So, so we're doing Whoops. <laughs> so mom just finished spraying off the stanchion and Jewel decided to spray it herself. Rude. I just cleaned that. So, kind of like a car wash, but for a cow. It's a cow wash. The, the underbelly. <clears throat> okay, please. No okay, more. we get distracted with please. Jewel's uh, comedy and yeah. humor. <clears throat> but anyways, Mr. Grant's job Currently, he does help with the milking, but right now, his job is to put this rope halter on Mr. Milo. Let Mr. Milo just walk around with it, and when he steps on it, uh, it teaches him to not walk forward anymore, and we don't have to fight with him. Um, also, part of Grant's job is to pet the calf. What a tough job. Yeah. But as I said in the previous video, um, very soon, this young bull will be enormous and much more powerful and much heavier than any of us. So we want to teach him to obey the rope halter and we want to teach him to love us and that uh, let him know that, that we are friends and not foes. Because he could knock us down right now and I can only imagine the power that he will possess when he's three, four, five, six hundred pounds. So, yep, that's part of Grant's job. Good job, Grant. 
So he stepped on the halter. He's not stepping on it anymore, but he stepped on it and he stopped. So mission accomplished. He is training himself on the rope halter. Good job, buddy. He's Okay, farmer's wife. Yes, sir. You got this handled? Yep. All right, I'm going to go feed pigs. And you just holler if you need anything. Holla. 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 I don't need anything. I'm perfectly right. content. Thank okay, you. Okay, enjoy. Bye, Milo. Bye, Grant. Bye. I'm going to go hang out with pigs. So Miss Rosie, she's about a year and a half old now, maybe close to two years old. And this is her first experience with a boar. So hopefully, Mr. Boris, you're being a gentleman, treating Miss Rosie with some respect. <clears throat> Sasha is currently pregnant. We'll be separating her soon so she can have some privacy and some safety whenever she gives birth to however many piglets she decides to give us. So now that these guys are distracted, we're going to go find Miss Frida and get her some food too. Uh, their paddocks are just separated by this electric fence. Not only do I want her to recover, after having piglets, there you go. Oh. But I don't want her to have to share food because it is a competitive sport eating around here. Now that she's by herself. <laughs> Now that she's by, now that she's by herself, she doesn't have to share her food or compete for food. You guys eat like pigs. And Colonel Sanders, no fear, no fear. <laughs> Great job. So for those of you who don't know our characters out here, this is Boris. He's a boar, hence the name. This is Sasha. This is Rosie. And this is Colonel Sanders. Back there was Miss Frida. And now, off to feed Porky, Peppa, and Pinky, our three little pigs. And the quietest bunch of them all, Mr. Porky, Peppa, <laughs> and Pinky. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Ooh. We love our buddies. We treat everybody here like they're pets. Because they are. Okay, so we got a little bit less milk than anticipated because maybe Miss Jewel was a little ornery today and kicked the bucket. What do you say? A gallon least, and a half? At least two. Gallon I and a half. I had a full to... bucket once and almost a full bucket a second time that she kicked it. But it's still looking like pretty close to two gallons. Well, we've got over two, but not much over two, which wow, is fine. Which is... I wonder what changed because maybe we did change her feed um, a little bit. Different. We've been giving her a lot more hay to where she's able to eat the whole time we're milking. So maybe that has had, or or the mineral tub, the molasses and the high protein. Because I've been milking, uh, Lara's been out of town the last couple of days, and I've only been getting about two and a quarter gallons uh, in the morning anyway. And this girl kicked over two buckets that could have 
been two gallons, yep. maybe a gallon and a half to two gallons, and we still got, you still got what I was getting in the last mm -hmm. few days. But anyways, all of that being said, we don't cry over spilled milk. Maybe. You do get frustrated. <laughs> maybe. There's no tears, but there is definitely eye rolling and really cow. Mm -hmm. So Lara today will be making butter. Oh, yeah. uh, we have a ton of cream, as you saw earlier. Um, some more elderberry syrup. Um, that is what we use as uh, the flu elixir and high immune strength. Um, if you're interested in that, chat with us on Facebook. Which is linked down below well, in there, our Instagram. There you go. Um, that is something that we sell and that's how we pay our bills around here. here go. We're gonna get some work done today and have a surprise for you, so stay tuned. You don't need that. Okay. Well, my, my hair is messy. Your hair is beautiful. I can't be on YouTube with messy hair. I can't <clears> believe <throat> you said messy hair. I just figured you'd say I can't be on YouTube with hair. Yeah, that too. <laughs>